Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging in my duster while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I forgot to tell you the saga of my brother. Um, first of all, and since we last spoke, I put the calendar up here that uh, Judy, Judy Truett sent me from New Mexico, the library system or something. Anyhow, I'm here. I'm in the room, formerly known as the Childs, currently known as Lounging Production Office. Okay, Blaine's here. It's freezing. You know, we're having a winter storm. And he and his son, Josh, drove across country. Una moment. Una moment. Drove across the country during one of the worst storms ever, you know, the weather event that we're having now across the nation. And they landed. And um, normally when they visit, they sleep in the pool house. Well, it's like in the 20s, you know, 20 degrees or less, generally speaking. But Spencer winterized it up there for them. You know how there's screens on the front, the like big screen panels. He, you know, put the plastic around and all that jazz and kind of moved the operation where anybody would sleep into what we used to call the kitchen. Because it's actually, you know, like it's wooden on all sides. You know what I mean? There's shelter. And, um... They're sleeping there right now as we speak. Not as we speak. I don't think they're up there yet. But there's a kerosene heater and some other heaters. And they're sleeping in the pool house. But that isn't the tragedy that happened. Remember how I showed you this table earlier? Um, Blaine and Spencer were moving that over during a snowstorm. Not a total storm, but it was snowing quite heavily. <clears throat> and they backed in. Like, Blaney was walking backwards in the front door. All of a sudden, I don't know what how this all happened, but he tripped over the boot. I have a like a tray where the boots go. They're not your boots. They never wear your boots. That's all another story. He fell over backwards and, thank God, landed in the beauty shop chair. Yeah. Maybe you're not familiar or you don't know this, but I have a beauty shop chair at the front door. <laughs> it was mother. She got it years ago to sit under and dry her hair and all that jazz. And she was going to give it away or just get rid of it in general. And I said, don't do that. I'll use it as a chair. It's really comfortable. And the dryer part, you know, that folds down, it's kept up. And I would, like, store some blankets on it. Of course, now the blankets are being stored in the bassinet. And the reason why I had to take off the bedroom door was to get the bassinet out of this room. But anyhow, it's all beside the point. So he landed right on that, on a box of newspapers that was fixing to be thrown out in that chair. Yeah. Ever since he arrived here, he's been moving stuff. I mean, it was like, hi, good to see you. Bring me the table. He does. He falls over. Then today he rode with me and Edna down to now and again. I keep pointing to get the door with a, what was it? A door from the store with the drawer. <laughs> Elbow pointed that out to me earlier, how I it put him in the mind of the rain and Spain falls mainly on the plane. <laughs> yeah. Door store with a drawer. See, some people aren't aware of this, but the I, I could set that in the middle of the room. The door is here. Then there's a drawer. And then there's legs from an old table. So it's self-sustaining, I guess you'd say. I don't know. Yeah, so we did that today as well. Now, I told him I'm done having to move furniture, so I better stick to that game plan. That's it. I just forgot to mention that during the tour of the bedroom. And thought, I'm going to come on and uh, tell you this story that... We'll have you at the edge of your seat. I might upload this tomorrow, actually. I'm not sure. I might do it now. I might do it then. I just don't know what my mood might be. Um, I do know that the store has been changed around since last I worked on Monday. Yep, she actually kind of remodeled it a little bit. It's not like a change around necessarily. Well, yeah, it is. The candle or the boutique is now a candle room. You'll see pink um, shutters and jazz. It looks really cool. It, it looks delightful. The window, like she put the cork table in the window. Put the cork table in the window and drink it all down. Okay, I'm getting silly. All right, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to give you an addendum to the earlier video. I really do sleep in this pen. I wasn't lying. Because I will take notes in the night when I'm looking at a video or something comes to mind. Yeah. All right. I'm done. Over and out here on Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging in a duster. 
while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me. Drop those political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. And there's the month of February. Okay, bye.